Hello everyone, Pete Brooker from Tailors With Love. No Matt Spacer on this one. I Very impromptu video. I'm doing this while my soup is bubbling away in the kitchen in the background. I just wanted to show you how this ivory roll neck from the NPL 007 collection goes with every jacket that I own. I couldn't believe my luck when the penny jumped that I could get so much mileage out of one sweater, but it's true. It actually goes with everything in my wardrobe. So stay tuned for this. So I've already gone through the details of this roll neck on the unboxing video. You can check that out. I'll leave a link in the show notes. This is of course taken from the NPL 007 Cashmere collection and at the time of putting this vlog together you can see they have all the sizes still in stock. I got mine in a size small. I'm about 37 in chest and about 5'7 in heels. High heels just to give you an idea. Uh, so I'll start by prefacing that I did something real stupid. I put this jumper on whilst eating chocolate. I had chocolate around my mouth and the chocolate came off on the roll as I pulled it over my face. I have no one to blame apart from Anastasia, my girlfriend who keeps buying me delicious fancy Belgian chocolates. I got it on the inside too. I'll need to figure out how to fix that. I mean, Jesus H Christ, I'm so mad. But for now, I'm just reversing the inside of the roll so that you don't see it. But don't worry, I'll fix it. You'll forgive the light also being a bit dark in this video. It's been raining near enough all weekend. It's miserable here in London at the moment. So talking of miserable, it's turned cold here and it's quite a lightweight knit. So I wear a t-shirt underneath. If you feel the cold, if it's below say seven degrees, which it is at the moment, then you'll need a t-shirt underneath. And because it's quite lightweight, you'll notice any other colors you put underneath. So it's up to you what you want to do with this, but I don't think it looks too clever. So I'd stick to the white t-shirts where you can. So I'm going to try more or less every jacket that I own and see if it works with this ivory roll neck. First up, I'm going to mix my fabrics. This is a corduroy jacket from Carvin. It's grey, if you can make that out under the light. I probably wouldn't wear it done up. It looks a bit bunched up. Wear it undone, that's better. I would give this a yes. Okay, back you go. Chop, chop. Next up, my jean jacket from G-Star. You may have already seen this one in a travel like a spy video that I did. Jeez, Anastasia absolutely hates this jacket, but I love it. Where am I going there? That's not professional. I actually think this works in a nice contrast. The colors, the blues, the whites. I think this is a winner. Yeah, stop admiring yourself. Pedro, you narcissist. Okay, now as God intended, the cashmere zip through bomber also from the MPL 007 collection. Again, refer to the unboxing vid. I've talked about this over there and the gloves. Boy, do you need these in this weather. So this is my favorite pairing of all the casual jackets. It's quite cold out there right now to wear this because they're quite lightweight pieces. Even with a t-shirt underneath, you'll need something a bit warmer than this if it's below five degrees. So I'm gonna get more mileage out of this outfit come spring. Okay, onto the jackets now, suit jackets. This is an old one I had tailored in Vietnam. Looks like a woman's jacket really, now that I come to think of it. I tend to go for the longer cuts these days, but. I think the brown check works really well over the white. I'd probably wear the combo to casual lunches, maybe a day at the races, or maybe to the bingo hall, if I played bingo. This is a killer look. Again, you might recognize this jacket from the Vietnam video I posted. I had this modeled on the one Roger wore in The Man with the Golden Gun when he goes to Scaramanga's Island. I even wore this to the theater. When I bumped into Barbara Broccoli, I told her everything I've learned about fashion, I've learned from James Bond. And she replied, well, there you go. <laughs> what can you say to that? Okay, this is the Goldfinger Cashmere Jumper, also from NPL. You saw this at the beginning and I actually wear this more of a combo than I do the Goldfinger waistcoat and tie. But I've got plenty of events coming up where I'll be wearing the waistcoat, so I'll be posting more about that soon. Christ, I look as miserable as sin in that photo. Though I do remember that shoot. That was, we had about five minutes before the heavens opened, so we only managed to get a couple of photos. Okay, lastly, my gray Prince of Wales check jacket. I wear this combo, say for client meetings or if I need to make a good first impression, but don't really fancy wearing a shirt. So it's a bit smarter and more formal than the other jackets. 
and it's actually brought a lot of my other jackets to life this way. I've ignored some of these jackets for a long time, but it's been fun wearing them again because I now have a new way to wear them. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go eat some soup. Buenas for tornas.